Good afternoon, all my class 9 students. Welcome back to chapter the book. The first book is uh, Behave, and the second chapter is The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music have two parts. The first part is all about a girl whose name is Evelyn Glennie. And the second chapter is all about Bismillah Khan. The first chapter is all about a great and surprising, a stunning and truly incredible story about Evelyn Glennie. You will be truly surprised that she was totally deaf but her talent, her abilities and her daunting indomitable courage lead to a great succeed in her life. We can start this line, we can summarize the sound of music part one about Evelyn Glenny is a multi percussionist who can play thousands of instruments to perfection, a must sort of a musician internationally. Surprisingly, she achieved this status in spite of disability. Her disabilities means she was profoundly deaf. She was totally and truly deaf despite she has truly remarkable, admirable and perfect abilities without listening any sound, any music. She becomes so famous, so popular. Instead of the ears, she feels the sound through her body. Because we listen to music, we listen to news, we listen to drama, we listen to many kinds of things and we feel, we listen to, by the help of our sense that is called by ears. But she was truly peculiar. She can listen through her body. I'll tell you about something about Evelyn Glennie. Evelyn, Evelyn Glennie was 11 years old when it was discovered she had hearing problems. She wanted to pursue her career in music, but her teachers discouraged her. See, if your teacher, your master, your mentor, your instructor, your coach, will discourage you then is it possible to face a challenge is it possible to embrace a challenge same thing happened here actually here not a mentor not a coach but her teachers discouraged her it was wrong for us to recognize her potential and supported her he advised her not to listen through her ears but try to sense it in some other way we would like to give a great salutation. He is a man of a great respect, regard and, and dignity. We have to appreciate and admire about Mr. Ron Forbes, who, is, who was the single man who recognized her potential, fullest potential and supported her. This proved to be a turning point. She learned to open her body and mind to the sound and vibration after she never looked back. She had mastered the art of interpreting different vibration of sound on her body. Not only she has learned the music, not only she has played different kind of musical instrument, but she joined the prestigious Royal Academy of Music and scored the highest marks in the history of the Academy. Really. It is truly fantastic. It is truly magnificent. It is truly flabbergasted and marvelous. 
without hearing without listening your own personal skill music she got remarkably truly and surprisingly different character and peculiar character whatever she has evelyn glenny she worked hard and with determination against all odds and got right to the top in 1991 she was presented with the royal philharmonic society prestigious soloist of the year award see what in by the solo solo means any drama any dance any performance done by individual that is called solo so that's why it's mentioned here soloist of the year award apart from the regular concert evelyn gave free concert in the hospitals prisons and also to aspiring young musician she was getting so popular in the world she was getting so immense popular and getting the global recognition because she has truly this abilities she was dubbed by birth but despite she carry on she lead to a great succeed not only she has become the popular but she was also guiding instructing and mentoring in different hospitals prisons and aspiring young musician she became a source of inspiration for deaf and other handicapped children she inspired them and made them believe that if evelyn could do so could they so she told that if i i am deaf if i can do that kind of work well, why don't you why don't you become famous why don't you work hard but it's required a kind of dedication determination and devotion and whatever she has done so smartly and so beautifully now we are coming to the quick revision notes most crucial most pivotal point which we can discuss in this chapter the sound of music about it's all about a girl it's all about evelyn glenny who was remarkably and surprisingly more apparently and significantly she has performed tremendously beautiful she was performance her, her her qualities was truly admiring inspirational and motivational for all the people all musician all student and all across the nation as well as the country see we we read the first line evelyn glenny evelyn glenny was 8 when first time her hearing disability was noticed by her mother second at the age of 11 her disability was discovered at a school she wants to do carry in music her teacher discourage her see all points are truly important all points are really pivotal crucial and most important for writing later writing question answer the third line the fourth line fortunately she met ron forbes see written fortunately if she could not meet such kind of person who could support him her who could support who could guide who could motivate her then is possible no it's not possible because we want some sort of support some person can motivate you but despite of that uh, her disabilities she did truly, truly uh, remarkable indomitable job Fortunately, she met Ron Forbes, the Parkinson's who identified her potential and supported in achieving her goal. We have to say salute. We have to give a prestigious salutation to Ron Forbes, who supported her in all kinds of characters to required for her. He trained Evelyn to sense the music through different parts of our body. He trained not just say to try to listen but try he told that you have to feel your music run through parts of your body suddenly she was excited to feel the vibration in every part of her body evelyn followed him like an obedient student in the meantime she had learned to open her body and mind to sounds and vibrations evelyn was truly dedicated devoted and determined with a uh, great determination and then only possible she is ready to achieve her career achievement and goal motto 
the second point, next point, after this, she never looked back. This is really motivational. This is truly inspirational. After this, she never looked back. Now, Evelyn joined the famous Royal Academy of Music, worked hard with strong determination. Suddenly, she got to top. I'm telling to my student, this is not only motivation, insp inspiration for, for musician, but it is for all part, all, all, all parts of the career. It's not possible that you should be deaf and your, your career is music, your career is as a musician, your career, is, your career will be different. But if you focus, if you target to a particular point, to a particular aspects, you work hard, definitely things, things will remarkably it will figure out in a absolutely remarkable when you are going to do something so honestly and so positively. This is a great inspiration for the student. This is a great inspiration for all person, people, men, women, children and about of all citizen and all student. See, we are going to talk about Apart, uh, in 1991, she backed the Royal Philharmonic Society prestigious Soloist of the Year Award. She toured around the world for a concert with a very hectic schedule and became a kind of her colleague. She, she not only tried so hard, not she tried, struggled so hard, but also she has been got a prestigious award. She got many awards. But despite she continued and toured and, and traveled different parts of the world with a super hectic schedule, very hard time and became a kind of workaholic. What do you mean by workaholic? A person who has the strong desire to work all the time and that person is called workaholic. Now next point. A part of this, she gives away concert in prison, hospital. Evelyn soon became shining superstar and inspiration for not only the disabled ones, but for all. I told you that she was a truly a great motivator. She was a great source of inspiration. She was the great talent. She was the great talented and super caliber girl. She was not inspiring to the people, to the person, but also to the prison, in prison, in hospitals, and different kinds. So patients are struggling for life, the students are struggling for life, a person who gets depressed, a person who gets totally gloom, a person is becoming totally gloomy, the person is getting totally bleak, and she was inspiring with her words, with her, her, her performance, with her story, with her true and life and truly struggling life story. Now next point, she achieved more than most people twice her age. She achieved more than most people twice her age. This line is truly inspiring for the student. She achieved more than most people twice her age. It is really a matter of great applaud. It's quite a thunderous applause. It's required cloud burst applause for her. That means she achieved more than most people twice her age. Now, the last point. Evelyn has earned great name in orchestra. She has inspired those who are the handicapped and made them believe that if Evelyn could do that, why not they? they see, this line is truly important. We are getting, we are always finding excuses. We are always complaining that our life is full of Pandora's box. But in reality, it's not. There are many persons in your society, in your district, in your state, in your village, in your colony. They are doing lots of work despite they have so much struggle so much of a scarcity but the struggle of life will lead to a great person 
Don't complain the skies. Never complain others. Don't complain about your your uh, disabilities. Don't complain you are you belong to a poor family. Don't complain you don't have money. Don't complain you don't have time. Because if you truly buckle down with your heart and soul, with might and main, definitely you can achieve anything. What do you want? What's your career? What's your ambition? What's your motto? What's your target? Anything you can achieve. But you have to be come on the platform. You have to be come on the track. You have to buckle down exactly what do you want in your life and what do you want from your career. Everything is possible. It's a truly possible when you want to possible. It is not possible then somebody will give you kind of things with the money, with the education. No, don't take the support of others. There are many. I'm talking about the Arunima Sinha. I, I know she's truly Indian. She was Indian girl. She belongs to not a very rich family, but she she belongs to a, a, a family with the medical society. But how a person who has perfectly fit, healthy, and if you are trying to climb the mountain race, that is truly admirable, truly inspiring. But what about Arunima Sinha? She was totally, she was the first female amputee Mount Everest climber. She lost her legs during the journey when some goons trying to snatch her necklace and they have pulled and she fall down and she lost her leg. She was very critical condition. She never thought that. See, that incident lead to climb the mountain. Not, not only she climbed the mountain, but she had climbed all across the world, all mountains of the world. This is called, despite disabilities, she had climbed, she became popular in the world. Likewise, this is not the story of just only Evelyn Glennie, not only Arunima Sinha. There also, we're talking about Farzana Sherbafi. There are so many girls, so many persons who faced, embraced challenges, embraces, troubles, embraces different kinds of obstacles and finally they broke the impede they broke the hindrance and lead to succeed so don't complain never complain about sky don't complain about people don't complain about your 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 society don't complain you belong to such a very poor family you can't do you can do you can do many things what you can't do what you can do what exactly what you can do better because I we are always making himself or herself as a Pandora's box we are complaining we are finding excuses we are telling we don't have that we don't have this we don't have it's not possible if you want to struggle in your life you have to be get challenges you have to climb up you have to be struggled you have to buckle down and get things well remarkably positive thank you very much I hope this, the sound of music, the first chapter of the sound of the music is absolutely clear and crystal to my student. And hopefully this class is truly fruitful and truly salubrious and conducive for my student of class 9. Now I would like to explain in a some word in Hindi so you better understand about what exactly Evelyn Glenny. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, may बिहाइव बुक का सेकंड चैप्टर द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक जिसके दो पार्ट हैं फर्स्ट पार्ट जो एवलिन ग्लेनी के बारे में है उसको मैं अपने वर्ड में अपने सेंटेंस में समराइज करना चाहूँगा ताकि वैसे स्टूडेंट जो समझ नहीं पाए हैं मैं कोशिश करूँगा कि मैं अपने वर्ड अपने सेंटेंस में आसानी से अपने 
वर्ड में आपको समझा पाऊँ एवलिन ग्लेनी जो है वो एक हार्ड वर्किंग लड़की है जिसका पैशन है जिसका एम है जिसका एम्बिशन है कि वो एक म्यूजिशियन बने लेकिन वो बचपन से ही वो बिल्कुल डैफ है बिल्कुल बहरी है वो सुन नहीं पाती है उसके टीचर जो है उसे डिस्करेज करते हैं कि तुम म्यूज़िक तुम एक अच्छी म्यूजिशियन नहीं बन सकती हो क्योंकि तुम डैफ हो पूरी तरह डैफ हो लेकिन एवलिन का डेडिकेशन एवलिन का डिवोशन एवलिन का स्ट्रॉन्ग डेडिकेशन और परसिवरेंस क्वालिटी होने की वजह कर वो अपने कैरियर को कंटिन्यू करते जाती है इस पूरी स्टोरी में सबसे पिवोटल और इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल है रॉन फॉब्स का जिसने एवलिन ग्लैनी के फॉलेस्ट उसके हिडन पोटेंशियल को रियलाइज करते हैं और उसे मोटिवेट करते हैं उसे इग्नाइट करते हैं उसे गाइड करते हैं और डैफ होने के बावजूद वो तीन साल के कोर्स ज्वाइन करती है रॉयल एकेडमी ऑफ म्यूज़िक में और वो उस म्यूज़िक उस रॉयल एकेडमी में सबसे अच्छा सबसे टॉप मार्क्स लाती है जो उसको पूरे वर्ल्ड में फेमस पूरे वर्ल्ड में पॉपुलर बना देता है जहाँ पे वो मल्टीप्लेयर्स ऑफ ड्रम्स एंड टेबल्स शी इज़ द शाइनिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन और ये वो एक इमरजिंग स्टार बन गई वो एक इमरजिंग सुपरस्टार बन जाती है यहाँ पे फॉब्स रॉन फॉब्स का बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल रहा है उसको एम्बेड करने में उसको इस मुकाम पर तक पहुंचाने में रॉन फॉब्स का बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहा है बहुत बड़ा कंट्रीब्यूशन रहा है तो देखिए इसमें से कुछ बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स हैं जो क्विक रिवीजन नोट्स में मैं आपको दिखा रहा हूं सबसे पहली बात देखेंगे कि एवलिन ग्लिनी वॉज एट वेन फर्स्ट टाइम हर हियरिंग डिसबिलिटीज वॉज नोटिस बाई हर मदर यानी एवलिन ग्लिनी जब आठ साल की थी तब उसके मदर ने नोटिस किया कि वो सुन नहीं सकती है एट द एज ऑफ एलेवन हर डिसबिलिटी वॉज डिस्कवर्ड एट स्कूल और 11 साल के उम्र में स्कूल में पता चलता है कि ये लड़की सुन नहीं सकती है तीसरा पॉइंट देखिएगा शी वॉन्ट्स शी वॉन्ट्स टू डू कैरियर इन म्यूजिक हर टीचर्स डिस्करेज हर वो अपना कैरियर म्यूजिक में देख रही थी अपना कैरियर म्यूजिक बनाना चाह रही थी लेकिन उसके टीचर ने उसे डिस्करेज किया क्यों क्योंकि वो डैफ थी क्योंकि वो डिसबल थी चलिए तीसरा चौथा पॉइंट है फॉर्चुनेटली शी मेट रॉन फॉब्स द फर क्रसनिस्ट हु आइडेंटिफाइड हर पोटेंशियल एंड सपोर्टेड इन अचीविंग हर गोल सबसे फॉर्चुनेटली सबसे मोस्ट लकी और फॉर्चुनेट बात यह है कि जब वो रॉन फॉब्स से मिली तो उसने उन्होंने उसकी पोटेंशियल को आइडेंटिफाई किया पर यूज़ किया और उसको उसके गोल को अचीव करने में काफ़ी क्रूशल और क्रक्स सपोर्ट दिया उसके बाद देखिए ही ट्रेन एवल इन टू देंस ऑफ म्यूजिक थ्रू डिफरेंट फास्ट ऑफ बर्डी रॉन फॉर्स ने उसके सेंस ऑफ म्यूजिक को उसके कान से नहीं उसके सुनने से नहीं बल्कि उसको पार्ट्स ऑफ बॉडी से सुनने को और उसको कंटिन्यू करने को कहा नेक्स्ट पॉइंट है सडनली शी वॉज एक्साइटेड टू फील द वाइब्रेशन इन एवरी पार्ट ऑफ अर बॉडी और वो जब अचानक वो बहुत एक्साइटेड होती है कि उसके हर एक बॉडी पार्ट से उसको वो फीलिंग उसकी वो वाइब्रेशन फील होने लगती है कि जो मैं सीख रही हूँ वो उसके बॉडी में फील होने लगता है नेक्स्ट पॉइंट है एवलिन फॉलोड हिम लाइक एन ऑबिडेंट स्टूडेंट एंड मीन टाइम शी हैड लर्न टू ओपन अर बॉडी एंड माइंड साउंड एंड वाइब्रेशंस और एवलिन जो है बहुत ही एसूडियस ऑबिडियंट इंडस्ट्रियस स्टूडेंट थी और वो जब वो चीज़ सीखते गई अपने बॉडी और माइंड से 
तो वो एक रिमार्केबल इम्प्रूवमेंट उसे दिखा आफ्टर दिस शी नेवर लुक बैक और जब उससे रियलाइज़ हो गया कि मैं सीख रही हूँ मैं चल रही हूँ तो उसने फिर पीछे मुड़ के कभी नहीं देखा एवलिन जॉन द फेमस रोल एकेडमी ऑफ म्यूजिक वर्क हर्ड विद स्ट्रॉन्ग डिटर्मिनेशन सडनली शी गॉट टू टॉप एवल एवलिन ने रॉयल एकेडमी ज्वाइन किया म्यूजिक रॉयल एकेडमी ज्वाइन किया और बहुत कड़ी बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग सुपर इंटामेटेबल कैरेज के साथ उसने अपने डेडिकेशन के साथ डिटर्मिनेशन के साथ डिवोशन के साथ उसने मेहनत किया और वो काफ़ी टॉप पर पहुँच गई इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन शी शी बैक द रॉयल फिल हारमोनिक सोसाइटी प्रिस्टीज स्लोइस्ट ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड शी टू रॉन द वर्ल्ड अवर कंसर्ट विद ए वेरी हैक्टिक स्केजल एंड बिकेम ए कैंड अवर कॉलिक तो उसने नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन में रॉयल फिल हारमोनिक सोसाइटी प्रिस्टीज का स्लोइस्ट ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड लिया और वो पूरे वर्ल्ड में लोगों को इंस्पायर किया अपने हेक्टिक स्केजल के साथ अपने टफ रूटीन के साथ लोगों को इंस्पायर करती चली गई और वो वर्कहलिक हो गई यानी उसको काम करने में मज़ा आने लगा अपार्ट फ्राम दिस शी गिव्स वेरी फ्री कंसर्ट इन प्रिजन हॉस्पिटल्स एवलिन सुन बिकेम शाइनिंग सुपर स्टार इंस्परेशन फॉर नॉट ओनली दिस डिस वंस बट फॉर ऑल अपार्ट इसके अलावा वो अपने फ्री टाइम में प्रिजन हॉस्पिटल में भी लोगों को इंस्पायर किया डिफरेंट प्रिजनर को इंस्पायर किया पेशेंट को इंस्पायर किया मोटिवेट किया और इससे लोग काफ़ी इंस्पायर भी हुए शी अचीव मोर देन मोस्ट पीपल टू आई सरेज वो जो उसने अचीव किया जो आज तक उसके दुगने एज के लोग भी अचीव नहीं कर पाए या उसके बराबर का काम किया जो उनके एज से दुगने थे ये बहुत ही रिमार्केबल बहुत ही क्रूशल पॉइंट है एवलिन वॉज अर्न ग्रेट नेम इन ऑर्केस्ट्रा एवलिन ने ऑर्केस्ट्रा के क्षेत्र में काफ़ी बड़ा नाम कमाया शी हैड इंस्पायर डोज हु आर हैंडी कैप और उसने बहुत सारे हैंडी कैप बहुत सारे डिसेबल्ड लोगों को इम्पेयर लोगों को इंस्पायर किया और एवलिन ग्लेनी सोर्स ऑफ इंस्परेशन बनी सो आई होप दिस वीडियो इज ट्रूली फ्रूटफुल एंड कंडीसिव फॉर माई स्टूडेंट एंड होपफुली this chapter is become so easily so i have been refined with my utmost effort to do so thank you and salute you thank you for supporting me see you in next video and good luck for everybody